hi everybody uh, welcome to my uh, channel in the previous uh, demonstration we build uh, an image of our app using a docker file and um, we also tested our uh, image by running and we were able to access our application so since we have verified that our container is running as it should it's time to uh, push this in uh, elastic container registry so the choice is yours you can either push it in the docker hub or in the elastic container registry i'm going to use amazon elastic container registry to store my uh, docker images okay so as you can see right now uh, i don't have any repository so i will be creating a repository and pushing uh, my image which we just created into that repository so i'm going to do that using uh, the command line so let's start The first thing is to create repository. So what I do is AWS. Uh, before you do this, you need to have AWS CLI installed on your machine. And also you need to uh, configure your AWS CLI to access um, your resources in, uh, in your account. I already have done that so I also have um, made a video how, on how to install and configure it you can check it out uh, from my youtube channel okay let's go ahead and do this AWS ECR uh, create repository and we need to mention where we basically which uh, region right so region will be for me it will be Asia Pacific Southeast 2 and then I would like to keep my repo name so repository name it will be I will say uh, simple something simple app right or you could say fast API app or anything but I will go with simple anything you can give a name to your app uh, repository name equal to app and there are lots of options if you just uh, uh, type dash dash and hit tab it will show us all the options we can pass here for example we can say uh, we can provide encryption configuration uh, so that means like would you like would, would we would I like to have my image be encrypted at rest or not something like that we can do uh, image tag mutability so do I want my image to be mutable or immutable those sort of things but right now I'm going with very simple just creating a repo uh, with name app in the region Asia Pacific Southeast 2 so once I hit enter and I, the prompt shows me the repository is actually created I have the repository ID here and the repository name right now what I need is repository URI so I need this URI right now so I will copy that and now i need my docker to authenticate with uh, this repository so that uh, let's do that so aws ecr get login password and need to mention the region asia pacific south east 2. so this this command actually um, uh, returns 
the password that will be used to authenticate okay so I'm going to uh, pipe it to docker login username username is AWS and password standard in and I need to post and I'm going to paste that repository URL here and hit enter looks like I've been successfully uh, logged in now I can tag the image for example let's see what image we have docker image ls so that's the image I want to tag so what I do is docker tag yes and paste the repository URI and so and then finally push it docker push again paste repository URI hit enter and you can see it's pushing that image into that repository it will take some time depending on the uh, network speed uh, and the size of the image obviously okay looks like it's uh, completed now we can go to the AWS website and actually confirm if it is uh, uh, actually if you can see that here I'm refreshing it and I can see repository name and and uh, we can go through all these details right here so it has a tag immutability is disabled which means tag immutability is not enabled right of course which means if I push another image for example um, if I push the same image uh, with a different uh, tag uh, the original image will be replaced that's what it means but if we said tag immutability enabled means if I, if I send another image here with a different tag let's say the first push was um, go back inside if the first push was let's say app colon v1 and it will be it will be here as is app colon v1 and the second push was app colon v2 there will be second record as a apple on b2 something like that and okay so we have our image here that's the image and that's the digest image digest so now we are good here we have our image ready to be pulled and used by by our containers uh, so in the next video i will be creating a tax definition and then after we will create um, cluster using fargate and finally deploy our app okay see you in the next video